Hi everybody, it's Silver and welcome back to my channel. Today is July 15th, so it's Luxbox Day. So we're gonna unpack the July Luxbox and see what's inside. So let's do this. So here's my subscription box folder, which includes my Luxbox folder. And I've already unpacked it. You get a HUD, you attach it, you'll click it and then you'll click each of the pictures to unpack your items which I've already done a little earlier so let's take a look I've decided not to wear hair and to just wear lingerie that was included with the matria mesh body because I thought it'd be a little bit easier today so first we have Empire which will be shoes. They come for Machia, Beliza, and Slink, I do believe. So let's just throw on Machia and let's throw on the HUD and see what we get. Oh wow, look at that. That's something a little bit different. Oh, and you could change each color. So let's make it something like super bright and kind of summery. Let's just do that just to give it something different. Oh, that's kind of cute with a pastel, aqua, a blue, and a purple. I like that. It matches my nail polish a little bit. So that's from Empire. Next we have Foxes paneled leggings. They come for Matria and Slink Hourglass. Let's throw it on and throw on the hood. And let's take off our underwear for half a second. I see there's a little bit of clipping, so you're gonna have to um let's take off that hood real quick. You're gonna have to alpha out your pelvis and let's throw on the hood. Let's see what colors. So it looks like the bottom half's always gonna be kind of a black leather look, but you could change the upper color of your leggings so let's see what the light blue looks like oh I'm a sucker for olive green so let's see what that looks like I love olive green with the skin tone so yeah look at that that looks amazing I really like that it's super cute so that's from Foxes. Next we have Izon. Izod, they made a shirt. I have a hourglass and a matcha. Oh, look how cute that is. I love that. That is beyond cute. I'm digging that. Okay, let's take a look at some of the other patterns. Oh, I like that. Look how cute that is. Then there's a pinkish one. Uh, I'm loving this top. I'm just, I really like the tropical plants during summertime. It's really cute. I would have expected something like this at Summerfest, but I'm loving this. Let's look at the checkered pattern. Well, let's take a look at a uh, solid. Let's see, let's try it more yellow. And that's from Eyes On. Next we have Ronin, a Kim denim crop, matcha and slink hourglass. Let's throw it on and see what it looks like. We added the HUD as well. It's kind of cute. It's something different. 
I've never seen anything like this that often. I like the cut of it. As you see, there's different colors you can swap it to. So you can have a black, or you can have a really light denim, or you can even have a white denim. I, I kind of like the darkest blue. I like that. And that's from Ronin. Next we have Mishmish. My dragon companion comes in four colors, black, pink, red, and sky. Let's throw on a black one. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, look how cute. So it flies right next to you. I thought his tail was wagging too, but I see that the wings are flapping. That's really cute. Let's see. There's no land in pack since it's an attachment. So that's kind of nice. That's really cute. And that's from Mishmish. Next we have Moon. Underground hair. That's kind of cute for kind of an action shot photo. Let's make it a bit of a lighter color. <laughs> and then what I do with ha hairs that are editable, such as Moon, like Moon, I click to edit it, I go to texture, I go to color, and I have two red colors right here at the bottom that are usually my go-to's for tinting hair. Let's try that one. Let's X that out and see, I have my, I have a nice red hair tone that I really like now. It's that simple if the hair is modifiable that you can create your own tones and whatnot. Especially if people don't make a color that you wear a lot, like some brands I have troubles getting um, dark red that I like. This hair is super cute though. I'm loving this. And that's from Moon. Next we have NX Narcotic Lula for Luxbox. It looks like it's boy shorts and a bralette. So let's throw those on. Oops. It's for Hourglass. And there's a HUD. And I guess I should take off the laundry I have. Oh, it's sheer. So it comes in a black and in a white. It's really cute. I wish there was more colors. That's the only thing I'm kind of disappointed with. Because if there are solid colors, I could like see wearing this for like a gym type of picture as well. Because I really like it. And it's really cute. I'm really like I like both of these colors a lot actually. It's super cute. Next we have paper arrow. It's a slip shirt. So let's throw that on real quick. And then we'll take off the bralette and I'll throw on the HUD. Lots of summery colors. Let's see what an orange looks like. Or my kind of go-to aqua teal this year. I've had an obsession with it. I'm not sure why. Let's see light blue. Let's see it. It's kind of neonish. I kind of like that. What about hot pink? I like this. I can see wearing this with different skirts or um, shorts. It's really cute. I'm gonna go to my go-to gray though. It matches almost everything. And that's from Paper Arrow. Next we have Flowey from Stories and Company. I'll do Scarlet Creative in a moment. It's a Ariel skirt 
So let's throw that on and then we can take off my shorts. So there's five colors. There's a navy, there's a black, there's a red, there's a pink, and then there's a white. Might keep on the white. I like this. It's really cute. I tend to like to try things on in white because you could see every curve and crease of the detail that was put into the work. It's super cute. I really like that. And that's from Flowey Stories and Company. Next we have Scarlet Creative. It's a build. Imogen Orangery. So let's res it out and see what it looks like. Oh wow, look at that. That is gorgeous. Let's take a look inside and look at the detail. Look at that detail. And I'm on my laptop right now, so I don't have advanced lighting on, but look at that detail. I'm pretty sure it looks even more beautiful with advanced lighting on. Look at that. I love that. You can see a part of my scene that I have set up upstairs. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. This build has a land impact of 94. I, just look at that. That's, that's absolutely beautiful. Next, we have Tarte, a coastal deck. So let's res it out and see what it looks like. Oh wow, look at that. That looks beautiful. Look at those lights at the edge of the deck. That's going to look beautiful with nighttime wind lights. Oh, there's even some lights on the canopy as well. Look at that. That's gorgeous. A little towel. It also comes with two cushions, so let's res out those and see what they look like. Lace and triangle. And they come with sits. They are so cute. The pillows each have a land impact of two, while the deck has a land impact of 14. And this is by Tarte. And finally we have Tetra, lemon hair. So let's take off our moon hair. And let's put on the lemon hair. I believe I would be a medium. I'm wearing a Luluka head. And let's take a look at what it looks like. It's a cute ponytail. It's a few from the side. Let's see what colors they have. Uh, they have a red tones. Let's see. It's kind of the darkest red they have, so let's see what it looks like. Yeah, that's not a dark, these are more gingery. I wonder if it hair's editable. It's locked so you can't tint it to a color that you would like. That's, a, that's actually really disappointing for me because I do like the hair, but it's not a red tone that I would like personally. Let's see what the dark tones are. Because from time to time I wear a dark brown. Let's see what number 12 looks like. That's a pretty dark black. About 11. Yeah, it's kind of an ashy brown. I, it's really well made hair. I, I'm just, I'm not a fan of the colors that come with it, honestly. I just, I really don't like it. I think it's well made, but I think they should think about making it um, modifiable so people can find colors that they like for the hair. So that was all 12 boxes from July's Lux Box. I really liked a lot of the items. I'm just, I'm really disappointed with Tetra. I'm, I'm just, I don't like that I can't make it a color that I really would love, and I'm kind of 
disappointed with narcotics that they only gave us two colors because I think solids would work really well if and you could wear it for like kind of a gym feel or it could be lingerie it could like it could be interchangeable if we had the option to make it solid so I hope you guys enjoyed and remember that pre-orders for August Lux box will open up on August 1st and it'll be 1500 and if you miss this month's Lux box it will be available again um, on the first and you'll have you'll be buying it for an increased price of 2000 linden you can find out more information from the lux box website that i'll link in my description below have a great day guys bye